तदा शिव सरंधाम शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा सहना सह नौ भुन सह वीर्जंकवाह तेजस्वी नवधीतमस्तुमापिषा वह ओ शाति 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 नमो भगवते वैवस्वताय मृत्यव ब्रह्म विद्याचार्य नचिकेत से वी रिज्यूम फ्रॉम पेज वन ट्वेंटी वन ऑफ गीता प्रश और पेज थर्टी सेवन फ्रॉम योर पी डी एफ मंत्रा नंबर नाइन संबंध भाष्य अनेक तार्किक स्टार्टिंग अनेक तार्किक अनेक तार्किक कुबुद्धि विचालित कुबुद्धि विचालित अंतकरण अंतकरण प्रमाणे प्रमाणोपन्न प्रमाणोपन्न अभी आत्म एक आत्म एक विज्ञान ज्ञान असकृत असकृत क्षमान अमान अनृजु बुद्धीना तत्प्रतिपादने तत्प्रतिपादने आदरवती आदरवती पुनः पुनः आह श्रुति पुनः पुनः आह So the Jeevashwar Aikyam has been told already, and uh, the same message is. coming and so shankaracharya is giving an introduction to that mantra <clears throat> religious people in the world are many numerous 8 billion people population 8.1 billion i think of which 2 and a half billion christians then there is islam then there is other then there is hinduism like this there is i saw a report you go to worldometer.org they will tell you the population break up and all that. so the biggest attraction that religion offers benefit is that after death nobody wants to suffer like this anything to get rid of suffering and yes you will get rid of suffering after death you will go to heaven this is the uh, usp selling proposition of all religions now that is called videha mukti videha mukti means what after videha deha de Dehaha vigata. When the body falls, then there is mukti. Forever, eternally, I will be in heaven. That's the idea, which is a very beautiful 
it's a nice character for all this relief. And since anyway, nobody knows what is heaven, nothing. So it works. Now, this Videha Mukti is the biggest barrier for Advaita Vedanta. Think about it. Because I am I'm committed to going to heaven. That commitment to going to heaven is what stopped me from appreciating Advaita Vedanta. Okay? That is what it is. And so, <clears throat> this, this idea of escape, once the individuality is taken to be absolutely real, not unreal, absolutely real, Vedanta doesn't say it's unreal, but every other religion says it's absolutely real. Suffering is real. Experience is real, obviously. That's why it's called experience. Nobody can deny the experience. And so, that, that individuality makes me escape. Escaping just comes along with that sense of individuality. Because finally, sooner or later, one will conclude that this world that I am in is only a temporary place and the future is waiting for me. Better place is waiting for me. Okay. So, but Shastram says that, you know, the body might fall but all your experiences you have to go through because of your karma. But guess what? Your essence is free. Atma is free. Okay. Atma is free. Already free here itself. In yeah, while living on earth itself, you can you can feel blessed that you are free. You don't have to lead a whole life with the expectation that you are going to be free. That is what Advaita Vedanta offers. And so Therefore, this, the same message coming again and again with different examples is important. It is not repetition. Swamiji says it is reinforcement. We need that reinforcement. Okay? And uh, because all the Mahavakyas say the same thing, all the Upanishads say the same thing, Bhagavad Gita also, even though there are 18 chapters, finally, if somebody asks you, what does Bhagavad Gita teach you? You have to come up with some few points, three or four points. And that also must be Sarvopanishadu Gavaha. We saw that yesterday. So, therefore, beautiful statement, this Videha Mukti then has, from a perspective of Advaita Vedanta, Moksha, Jeevan Mukti, no other person, no other religion, no other Mata talks about Jivan Mukti. Only Jivan Mukti is there only for Advaita Vedanta. Okay? And so, from the perspective of the Advaita Vedanti, who is talking about Jivan Mukti, freedom here and now, this Videha Mukti, life after death, there is no life after death, is, is only a praise. Arthavada, praise, praise. Arthavada means what? By the way, Jeevan Mukti is there means, of course, Vidhaha Mukti is going to be there. If you are free now itself, of course, later on also you are going to be free. There is no life at all. There is no individuality at all after death. So, Vidhaha Mukti is what? It's a corollary. It's not the goal. The goal is Jeevan Mukti. Everything else is a corollary. Okay? So, that's a beautiful thing. So, in our dharma, we have we have Shaddarshana. Right, Sadhana, very important. So all the, the philosophical thought they say. So it's useful to know what are the Shaddashanas. Minimum you all can know. And Purva Mimamsa, Uttara Mimamsa, Sankhya, Yoga, Nyaya, Vaisheshika. Once again, let me repeat. Purva Mimamsa, Uttara Mimamsa, Sankhya, Yoga, Nyaya, Vaisheshika. Purva Mimamsa, I'm not going to go into details and all, but Purva Mimamsa is a Karmakandi, Karmatas. Okay. All of these are Astikas. All of these are Astikas. Besides these Astikas, there are Nastikas. Bauddha Mata, Jaina Mata, etc. are Nastikas. They do not consider the Veda as Pramana. Okay. Now, this Purva Mimamsa believes in karma will take me to heaven. Okay. Purva Mimamsa. Then Uttara Mimamsa is Advaita Veda. 
That is what we are studying. Uttara Mima. Uttara means later. After karma. That is the idea. Then, then everybody else, astikas, but they are nyaya pradhana, tarka pradhana. They say logic is primary, Veda is a, as a pramanam is secondary. We say that logic cannot take you from the finite to infinite, impossible. But you can use logic to understand what the Shastra is saying about Jiveshwara Ikyam and so on. Okay. And so, all these Nyayas, other than Uttara Mimamsa, the remaining five, the remaining five Darshanas, they also talk about individuality, Satyam. Atma is Satyam, but there are many Atmas. The world is Satyam. Therefore, you have to find a way to escape from this world. Escapism is built in. The minute individuality is there, escapism will be built in. It has to be. There is no Jeevan Mukti. You have to exhaust all karma before you go to heaven. All these ideas will be there. And so, these ideas, the individuality is a barrier. The Videha Mukti is a barrier to Advaita Vedanta. And so, uh, and Swamiji makes an interesting point. He says, if this world is absolute real, then God also is helpless. That's what God, God can be questioned. Why did you create this world where people suffer? Everybody asks this question. This is a typical question everywhere. If we are all divine, why should we suffer? If God is compassionate, why should we suffer? And uh, God will become helpless. God is helpless because he is making everybody suffer. And he's, uh, at best, he's a sadist. Sadist, you know. Uh, or at worst, or whatever you want to say it. Sadist. Because he wants to see people suffer, and then, then see. Now, you know, you may have to believe in me. You have to surrender to me. You have not really surrendered, okay? And so, until you surrender, I will make you suffer. This idea will come. So, these are all, we have to kind of think through all these things. And then, uh, Make our own understanding firm. <clears throat> so, he, because he can't stop Janma, Mrityu, Jara, Vyadi, etc., he can't stop. The Almighty cannot stop all this. Then, what is the use? The greatest Bhakta also suffers. Suffers. Physically suffering. So, therefore, God would become a helpless person, helpless entity. And so, because he can't stand his devotee suffering also. That also is a problem. Oh, my devotees are suffering and I am not able to do anything about it. That's a problem. That's a lot of God will have a lot of guilt. You think you have guilt? God's, they will look at God's guilt. Okay. All these problems will be there. <clears throat> Therefore, this mithyatva nischaya. Mithya. Everything is mithya. Satyam mithya. That idea is so important. So important. Long ago, Puja Swami said, Hey, you should not ask people, what is your matam? What is your darshanam? What is your philosophy? You should not ask that question. You should ask, what is your mistake? What mistake do you believe in? That is what you should ask, it seems. No, everybody believes what they are studying is right. Okay, that is true. But the, the commitment to truth is so critical in this. That's why Sharanagati is so important. You have to see Without judging, without projecting, I must be able to see what the Shastram is saying. That is very difficult. Because we are going to project. There is no choice. That is why the Acharyas are all so important. Anyway. So here, <laughs> one particular, this Shakracharya, I don't know, he has written so many things. And one shloka, Anatma Shri Vigarhana. Mantra says, you want to escape to Brahmaloka? Is that what it is? Okay. All right. You will have some time in Brahmaloka. After that, samsara will chase you. Okay. Dhatur loka ha saditova tatakim. So what? So what? Then Vishnu loka. You want to go to Vishnu loka? Is it? Why couldn't I? Vishnu loko vikshitova tatakim. Okay. You've seen Vishnu. You took a selfie with Vishnu and Lakshmi. 
ओके यू हैव स्पेंड अ गुड टाइम देयर देन व्हाट ततः किम सो व्हाट शंभोर लोक शासित वा ततः किम शिवा सेड यू आर टू गुड यू डू सो मेनी ग्रेट थिंग्स यू हैव इन एंटायर कंट्री बैकवर्ड कंट्री यू मेड इट टू अ इन टू अ हाईली डेवलप्ड कंट्री यू आर यू वी नीड दिस काइंड ऑफ यू वी नीड अ पर्सन लाइक यू टू रूल ओवर शिवलोक शासित so you ruled over shivaloka is that what your resume says tatakim <laughs> tatakim yena swatma naiva sakshat to abhu okay so the one who has not understood himself okay that for that person every other world ruling other worlds and all is meaningless and uh, it is an amount to, it does not amount to anything that's what this shloka says so this is the background to the sambandha bhashyam that shankaracharya this has written okay so let us look at that aneka tarkika now you can understand tarkika what is tarkika means all the darshanas so purva mimamsaka and then nyaya vaisheshika sankhya yoga these are all called aneka tarkika then atheists also they have their own logic atheists also included and then these days they have woke and uh, so they have new words also woke wokeism and all they talk about so communism all they are they are all thinkers so they are all thinkers we 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 salute them for their think but then look at this look at what shankaracharya says aneka tarkika aneka tarkika tarkika santhar कुबुद्धि विचालिता करण कुबुद्धि ब्यूटिफुल प्रीफिक्स इन सैंस्क्रिट कॉल कु इफ यू प्रीफिक्स वर्ड विथ कु कु मीन्स कुत्सित कुत्सित मीन्स निकृष्ट इंफीरियर निकृष्ट अधम दोस मीनिंग्स विल कम फॉर दिस वर्ड कु प्रीफिक्स कु अधम so adharma buddhi this buddhi which are which are which are uh, confused irrational okay that kind of a buddhi ku buddhi i the first time i heard ku it is ku uh, gram they they said ku gram this is a ku gram ku in tamil they say ku gram means a, a village which is small too small you won't get if you are coming from a city and if you go to this place you will be lost because don't expect electricity and television and internet and these things okay that's the idea but there is a definition from kugram gram means a, a village which does not have an agnihotri which does not have a temple which does not have a rich person which does not have a doctor etc that person such a thing is called kugram there is a list of things it must be there <laughs> so anyway kubuddhi means what this buddhi limited thinking not committed to truth just going after something without thinking through okay that is called kubuddhi and because of that kubuddhi vichalita antakaranam their mind becomes confused vichalita means confused so so the people whose minds are confused influenced by some irrational logic rational thinking okay Uh, of the many tarkikas tarkikas themselves can be referred to this and people who are influenced by those kinds of tarkas also referred to by this phrase okay such people are being described by shankara in this loka right in this sambandha bhasha okay so what about this so anything even scientists can be brought into this scientists who don't understand that they are in search of truth but they are unable to grasp the truth they are also thinking the world is absolutely real if you say world is absolutely real you will always be able to break down the atom because the atom is not enough atom is not the ultimate you have to break it down further electron proton neutron positron this that etc and then further break down further break it down to quarks so they must have said that's it i have found the truth of this universe you ask any particle physicist they will not agree now we we are building a new 
accelerated. In Houston, I think Houston underground, there is a huge accelerator. This is what I've heard. And uh, some 25 mile radius or something like that. Big accelerate where they accelerate these particles, single particles, and then make them collide. That is the only way to break them apart and then study the collision. So they are in search for satyam. Literally, what do you gain by finding out some small particle? What to gain? <clears throat> and so, even such people, and even Western philosophers, if you say, what about Western philosophers? Well, similar idea. Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, 2000 plus years ago, okay, 2300 or something like that, years ago, 300, 400 BC. BCE, and then uh, Voltaire, Hume, Immanuel Kant, Arthur Schopenhauer, okay, and then Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry David Thoreau, like this, you have all names. You look at the history of philosophy, all names will be there, except Shankaracharya, everybody's name. Yeah. And so, Santayana, and Ayn Rand, all these, these are our latest 19th century, no, 20th century, they are all, Ayn Rand, you know, Ayn Rand has written a book, uh, what is that book? Fountainhead. Fountainhead. Atlas Shred. Atlas Shred. Fountainhead. We the people. We the people. Yeah, Fountainhead and Atlas Shred, I think they are yes. once. Anyway. We are all there, thinkers. Satyam, word is Satyam. There is no choice. Sastra has to come and tell us there is something called Vidya. Correct? Otherwise, there is no chance of getting out of that conclusion. And so, he is now saying, Pramana upapannam api atmaikatva vijnana. This atmaikatva vijnana, this non-duality, Atma is ekaha, not anekaha. Atma is ekaha. Okay. That Atma ekatva vijnana. And that Brahma, whatever the truth of the world that you are going to find out, that is, we, have, we are going to tell you what it is, it is Brahma. And Brahma and Atma are identical in the final analysis. Okay. So that Atma ekatva vijnana, that knowledge, okay, that Advaita. Siddhi, Advaita Buddhi, Pramana Upapannam Api. It is told by the Shastra, it is not the invention of any Rishi. Neither Shankaracharya nor his Guru or nor his predecessors invented this thing. It is Shastra Pramana. Shastra Pramana Upapannam, established by Pramana. No human being has established this truth, invented and patented this truth. No, no, there is no patenting possible here. Okay. Even though it is like this. Okay. Shruti, Shruti. It is told by Shruti and then the human being reasons it out. Yukti. Reasoning is very essential for this. And then Anubhava. Anubhava is what? The people who have recognized this vision, we see their lives also. They are watching for it as well. So, Shruti, Yukti, Anubhava, Upapannam, Api. Further, Asakrit Uchyamanam Api. Asakrit. Sakrit means once. Asakrit means many times. Many times Uchyaman. Having told many granthas talk about the same thing. It is not like just one small book, thin booklet that is talking like this. Asakrit in the same yoga, Veda, so many times it is said, leading to the Many, many different types of Mahavakyani, okay, Asakrit, and told in different languages by different Acharyas, okay. So much is there in India, right? Asakrit Uchyamanam Api, despite being taught several times in so many different ways, then what happens? This Anruju Buddhi Nam Brahmana Nam Chetasi Na Adhiyate. It doesn't, they don't get it. They don't get it, it seems. 
And why they don't get it? Because Chetasi, Chetasi means in the minds, it doesn't take root. It doesn't, not even an iota. You know what? It might be possible. I think that's possible. Why don't I look into it? Like that, at least some idea should come. And it doesn't happen because they are all what? Anruju buddhis. They are called Anruju buddhis. Riju. We have encountered the word Riju before. Where? Is it something Ritam Pibanta? Anruju. Not quite. Riju, not Ritam. Where? Somebody show me. Uh -huh. No, no, not Ritam at all. It's not Ritam. All right, I'll tell you. Arjuna also. Ar Arjuna. Uh, no, no, no. Arjuna. I don't know. I don't know the etymology of Arjuna. Okay, if you know it, you let me know. Amanitvam adam bhitvam ahimsa kshanti rajyavam arjavam arjavam Okay, that is, what is Arjavam? We said, Riju Buddhi, one who has a Riju Buddhi is called an Arjavam, has that attribute of Arjavam. What is Arjavam? Straightforward. Straightforwardness. What is there in the mind is spoken. Whatever is spoken is acted out. So, alignment of thought, word, and deed, that is called Riju Buddhi. To give the example of uh, ghee falling in a straight line or something. Okay, but the idea is the three must be aligned. That is Ruju Buddhi. A straight. Can be it can be anything. Straight line. We understand straight, straightness. So straightforward. So you 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 respect a person because the person is straightforward. Doesn't mince words. Doesn't say something, do something else, forgets about it conveniently. Conveniently forget also. So the, 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 what are the three guruji again? Thought, word, and deed. Thought, word, and deed. Alignment between thought, word, and deed. Okay. That such a mind is called a Ruju Buddhi. Such a person is called a Ruju Buddhi. And that value is called Arjavam. We saw that in the 13th chapter of the Bhagavad Gita. Right? So, Anruja Buddhi, one who does not have that Anarjavam, that attribute of Anarjavam. You can't trust such a person. And the person is, of course, confused. Only a confused person will have this kind of buddhi. And so, Gambir Anandaji says, insincere intellects, that's how he translates this. Insincere. All right. Brahmana, no. Brahmana, no. They're intelligent people. Okay, Brahmana. They may even be Vaidikas, even be Vaidikas. That's why I said walks. This walk, if you look at some of the people who's, who spew all kinds of nonsense on our Vedas and the Hindu Sanatana Dharma, they're all, I, they're, they seem to be Brahmanas. They seem to be Brahmanas, you know, the fellows and uh, who are supposed to do, to study the Shastra. That's what they are. Ayer, they have last names called Ayer and all. It's very, I feel very ashamed to talk like this. What? So, so, those kinds of people going to Pakistan and giving lectures. That is, Rakhiracharya has predicted all that. Okay. You can, you can do, interpret, see all that. Chetasi na diyat. Tesham Chetasi. In their minds, it doesn't it strike them at all. This Advaita, vision of Advaita doesn't strike them at all. So, what? So, oh, Adharavati, Shruti, look at the last word, Shruti, that is a subject here, Shruti, yeah, Maheshti. By definition, Brahmana means knows, knows, Atma. Yeah. In that context, yeah, in that context. So, here we should not take it like that. You should not take that interpretation of Brahma. You should say, you should say Brahmanas. Like there are many Brahmanas. They say there are many Brahmanas. They are not wise people. They don't know Brahman. They are Jati Brahmana. Jati Brahmana. So here you have to say to they talk like a Brahmana. They 
talk like a vice versa. All right. So, uh, Shrutihi Adaravati Shrutihi. That is a word here. Shrutihi Shrutihi Veda. Uh, then Adaravati, which has a commitment to reveal the truth, which, <clears throat> which is concerned about the Jiva. Veda. Okay, Adaravati. It is not going to say get lost to all these people. If you don't, if you don't respect me, if you don't pay attention to what I say, no, you won't say that. Shruti, Adaravati. Why won't Shruti say that? Why won't Shruti say get lost? It's Mata. <laughs> Shruti Mata. <laughs> Times mother. Shruti Mata plus, yeah, plus Vedarani <laughs> Corporation says. Matra Pitra Sahasra Hitaishini. Not one mata. It's a, it has, she is the, even one mata can be overawed by the compassion of Shruti. That kind of mata she is. Okay, correct. So that is why Adaravati Shruti. Tat Pratipadane. If, if with the intention of revealing the truth, and making everybody understand the truth, Pratipadane. Okay, with that commitment to reveal that truth, Punaha Punaha Aha, again and again. Tells the, gives the same message, what is to do? You are the whole, you can't be better than the whole. You are free here and now. Well, how many, you can't say anything better than that. You are not the body. How many different ways to say it? Okay, I'll find another way to say it. I'll find another way. The child is, is struggling to understand something. The teacher will, will a good teacher, a teacher who's committed to teaching, will not give up. Will not give up. Student doesn't understand. That's it. That's a fact that is staring at the face of the teacher. And the student wants to understand. Okay, we'll find a way out. That is what it is. Punaha, punaha, aha, shrutihi. All right. <clears throat> yeah, so I wrote this down. A village, a kugrama is what? One without a leader, a raja, a without an agnihotri, a doctor, without a rich person, or a river. That is called a kugrama. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. There is still. Uh, yeah. Mani Prabha. Mani Prabha says, Amsaha Shuchi Shate 2.2.2, right? We saw that. Iti mantrena sarva pureshu yekahayeva atma iti uttam tad dhadhya dhishtam tad bayamaha. So that atma being all pervasive, which is there in everything, like it was said in 222 mantra, that is being said in the, by way of two examples. Dhishtam tad bayam is coming up next to two mantras. It gives a dhishtam an example, an illustration. Okay. All right, let's read the next one. And one line. <clears throat> yeah. Agnir Yathaiko Bhuvanam Pravishtaha. Agnir Yathaiko Bhuvanam Pravishtaha. Rupam Rupam Prati Rupo Babhuva Rupam Rupam Prati Rupo Babhuva Ekastatha Sarva Bhutan Taratma Ekastatha Sarva Bhutan Taratma Rupam Rupam Prati Rupo Bahischa Rupam Rupam Prati Rupo Bahischa Agnir Yathaiko Bhuvanam Pravishtaha Agnir Yathaiko Bhuvanam Pravishtaha 
Rupam rupam pratirupo babuvam. Rupam rupam pratirupo babuvam. Ekas tatha sarva bhutantaratma. Ekas tatha sarva bhutantaratma. Rupam rupam pratirupo bahischa. Rupam rupam pratirupo bahischa. So there is the deeply entrenched idea that living beings are many. Human beings are many. Living beings, of course, are many. Population count is there. All of them are living. If you say 8 billion in the world population, that means there are 8 billion people, the individual people, independent people. Okay. And so they are they are all conscious, they're all alive and kicking, and conscious beings there. And so not only is Atma many, Atma, if you say it is consciousness, then that consciousness also is many, countably many. Okay. And of course, in between there is no consciousness because it's all an Atma. So, consciousness also is split like that. That is natural. Even if you don't use the word consciousness, plurality is deeply entrenched in the mind of a human being. Plurality. And so, to, to go from plurality, duality to non-duality, it requires, what does it require? What does it require? Sadhana Chatushta. Sadhana Chatushtayam. Exactly. Exactly. Vivekam Vairagyam Shamadamadi Shatka Sampati and Mumukshutta. Require means what? That's the qualification. That is Vairagyam has to be there. Hey, this world is, is there is, I'm not going to be happy. How much ever you give me, I can't be happy. There has to be something more than this. This acquiring and then becoming, building a big house and therefore living a the happily here after life is not going to be workable. That idea has to strike. Vairag. Then backed by Viveka. Viveka means ability to think through. Okay, reasonably think through. We don't need to be scientists. Sir. We don't need to. Not that kind of thing. We don't need to solve equations. No. I was telling the other group, you know, can life be fulfilling? I was telling them. Fulfillment, right? We have to define what fulfillment is. And we said, we have not yet defined it, but our definition should apply to every human being. I gave them an example. Did I give that example here or not? I don't know. Huh? Did I? Did I tell it? About that uh, Vietnam war and all? I did not. Okay. See, this the, the war is raging and then war ends and then they all come back to US it's the American war all the Americans come back to US and they, you know, this one man comes to Los Angeles and then he gives a call to the parents after so many years Dad and mom have returned. And the parents said, we are so happy. We are so happy that you called and please come. Is there anything we can do? Can we come and pick you up? No. Because they don't know, you know, they don't know when they are coming, where they are coming. So, no, no, I'll come. But I have a request for you. I have a request. I have a friend. And he also fought for the country like I did. Okay. And the friend, and I want him to come with us, come with me, because he he lost, he stepped on a mine and he lost both his legs. And he doesn't have anywhere to go. And so the parents say, 
son that's so shocking to hear and you know we are very sorry for him and uh, you know how can how can you do this you know we can't it will be a big burden on us to bring another person that too without legs it'll be a big burden on us so no dad that's not you know i we, we are really close and we have to i can't you know we can't just leave him on his own okay no problem we'll find a place for him we'll find an apartment or something like that we'll make him stay there near our house somewhere then conversation got over the next day they get a call from the los angeles whatever coroner's office or something they say your your son jumped from a building and committed suicide and uh, they rush they rush to downtown los angeles and then they 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 see his son yes this is our son and then they were shocked once again shocked once again shocked to find out that this boy did not have two legs okay that means what to get this boy the boy felt you know i will be a burden for my parents if i go like this to my house that is how this boy was thinking boy means young man okay this is the story i told my the the, the class this audience now i'm going to change the story a little bit i'm going to say this man has come he has nowhere to go and he you are the director of this veteran outreach services of los angeles that's a huge position and all of them have come and these veterans have gone for a long time come they are all mentally very disturbed they are going to have a lot of psychological problems and uh, you have to settle them you have to make them comfortable they are low, low this is a big issue it's a huge responsibility and that man comes and tells you because we talked about fulfillment right background little background full can can life be more fulfilling that is the title of the discussion and so fulfilling okay family my idea of fulfillment is what family children settle this grand children and then some house somebody said um, i i like gardening i do gardening every day etc i feel happy in all this correct which is true so now i told you this man you i told them you are the director of the las las angeles this veteran services outreach services and this man you comes to you and says i want to lead a fulfilling life can you help me lead a fulfilling life i have another 30 40 years ahead of me 50 years ahead of me. i want to lead a fulfilling life. what will you do what i told you. i have a feeling this threw off a lot of them i have a feeling because Our idea of fulfilling is all some some limited idea we have, and so can this man be fulfilled? You got to ask. This is what you should answer. You are, because he asked you the question. So I told them my conclusion of this is. Therefore, our definition of fulfillment must be applicable to every human being. You can't leave one portion out. Oh, these kinds of people can lead a fulfilled life. That is not acceptable to me. It's not acceptable for somebody else. It may, be. and so, so that plurality is given. Okay, multiplicity is given. Everybody concludes it, and therefore everybody wants to escape also. But here, here, what is being said is Agni Riyathai ko. Imagine logs of wood. Strewn and then burning. The Shastra is saying, you see fire in this log and that log and that wood, etc., in different places. But you know what? Agni Tattvam is there everywhere. Agni Tattvam, Agni is there everywhere. In between the logs of wood, also it is there. All you have to do is stand in between those burning logs of wood. You will know whether Agni Tattvam is there or not. Agni. He is manifesting in the log of wood as fire, and you can use it also, no problem. And uh, so, even though there are there is a plur plurality of fires, many fires are burning. 
ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಏಕ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಏಕ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಏಕ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಫೀಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಯೂರಾಲಿಟಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ that you will do but really speaking don't take that as absolutely real that is the message of this mantra where the first half of the mantra gives the illustration of the fire second half of the mantra is the dashtanta drishtanta dashtanta means what uh, talks about atma ekaha tatha sarva bhutantar atma like that that's the essence of this all right let's read the bhash yeah surendra ji agnihi yatha ekaha eva agnihi yatha eka eva ಪ್ರಕಾಶಾತ್ಮ ಪ್ರಕಾಶಾತ್ಮ ಸನ್ ಸನ್ ಭುವನ ಭುವನ ಅಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಅಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಭೂತಿ ಭೂತಿ ಭುವನಮಯ ಭುವನಮಯ ಲೋಕ ಲೋಕ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಯಥಾಚರ್ಯ prakashatma sun agni is example that is being given fire fire is on one only there is only one fire agni tattvam is only one really speaking okay and what what is agni prakashatma its essence is its nature is to illuminate that is the example here prakashatma sun being of that nature of illumination ability having the capacity to illuminate that is what is agni okay bhuvanam pravishta it has entered the bhuvan pravishta means enter okay um yeah pravishta ha entered and entered what bhuvanam bhuvana bhuvana you may know what bhuvanam is but chakracharya is giving an etymological meaning to bhuvana within quotes you have that bhavanti asmin bhutani iti bhuvan the place where living beings exist is called bhuvan that is the definition of bhuvanam bhuvan i think bhuvan bhu, bhuvanam is also one of the synonyms for prithvi vasudha dharti right all these words are there bhuvanam also not bhavanam bhuvanam and so such a place that beings of born beings exist okay i am lokah that world that bhuvanam tam imam pravishtah tam lokam imam lokam that loka which is not different from this loka that i am there you are all there imam imam means this tam means that that loka this loka which is same as this loka is a typical sanskrit usage that and this come together you know we've seen this several times so tam imam within brackets you can say lokam pravishta that agni tatvam has entered this world that is a, that's what he's saying here and then let's see the remaining part here bhashyam continues anupravishtah 
या सपना जी अनुप्रविष्ट अनुप्रविष्ट रूपम रूपम प्रति रूपम रूपम प्रति दार्वादि दाह्य भेदम दार्वादि दाह्य भेदम प्रति इत्यर्थः प्रति इत्यर्थः प्रति रूपः प्रति रूपः तत्र 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 प्रति रूपवान प्रति रूपवान दाह्य भेदेन दाह्य भेदेन बहु विधः बहु विधः बभूव बभूव या यू कैन पुट अ फुल स्टॉप सो सो बभूव बिकेम दैट वन फायर एक अग्नि बिकेम ए बिकेम व्हाट डिड इट बिकम रूपम रूपम प्रति प्रविष्ट शंकराचार्य से अनुप्रविष्ट अनुप्रविष्ट एंड गोट एक्सप्लेन दट वर्ड अनुप्रविष्ट वै से अनु अनु मीन फॉलोइंग इन कीपिंग विथ ओके रूपम रूपम प्रति रूपम रूपम प्रति मीन वाट in keeping with all the different forms that are there different objects different shapes different sizes that are there in this bhuvanam and what are those things darvadi dahya bhedam prati ityartaha okay. fire it's easy fire is there everywhere even agni tattvam is there in the body also but it's recognizable in this dahya vastu dahya vastu means what dahana yogya vastu that which can be burnt dahana yogya jiska dahan hone ka yogya hai something like that in hindi something like that will come so that is called dahya dahya and dahya and what is dahya bhedam different bhedam means different types of different varieties of flammable things burnable things okay like what darwadi darwadi dar daru means again a log of wood wood pieces of wood it's... so darwadi daru adi etc fill up the logs you can have new, new these days there are new fuels hydrogen fuel is also there that's a gas log of wood is solid liquid fuels are also there you know petrol gasoline is there jet fuel all these things are there, different types of fuels. paper of course is a fuel also can be used and so all this dry dry uh, leaves they burn all the time you know a lot of coconut trees and other trees are there you know and periodically the coconut tree will just drop it will just drop off from the top it will just fall down without announcing it just falls off and uh, people are walking below They have to be careful. And when they hear this noise, then they should be alert. They should be alert, and so something may be falling from the top. And so what they do is they collect all these things, and nothing better to do for them. I think they just burn it. They just burn it. And so it's fuel, definitely. And so different types of fuel, like logs of wood, etc. Okay, what happened? That that ye ka ha agni tattvam which is absolutely formless because all pervasive agni tattva cannot have a form but suddenly it seems to take a form the form of the wood the form of the fuel whatever form the fuel can give if you burn hydrogen fuel it for you know rocket that are going to moon and all their type of fuel is not the type of fuel you put in your vehicle you know. no it 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 burns in a particular way and gives a shape to that fire gives a shape to the fire and so it that formless fire has gained location has gained a form 
and gained multitude duality also. Many fires are there. Okay. Babu where? Prati Rupaha Tatra Tatra Prati Rupavan. Dakya Bedena Bahuvidaha Babu. Okay. And why what do you mean by Prati Rupaha? Means it has taken a form, the form of the fuel it has taken. It has taken the form of the log of wood means the fire also is of the shape of the log of wood, especially solid. Gas means, yeah, if you say gas, oh, it is all over, means, yeah, the gas is all over. That is why the fire also is all over. Correct? All over. All over the place. So, the gaining became this multi-formed pratirupaha, tatra tatra pratirupavan. So, became multi-formed, assuming those respective forms, those forms of the respective fuels. Dahya vedaha. Okay? And, uh, this is the drishtan. This is the drishtan. Just as this example illustrates. Okay. Now the second half of the mantra, Vashikara is explaining. Let's read that. <clears throat> Bahuvidaha. Again, Bahuvidaha means many types of forms are there, types of fuels are there. So Bahuvidaha. Ekaha eva, Ekaha eva, Tatha, Tatha, Sarva Bhutantaratma, Sarva Bhutantaratma, Sarvesham Bhutanam, Sarvesham Bhutanam, Abhyantaraha, Abhyantaraha, Atma, Atma. Ati Sukshmatwad Ati Sukshmatwad Darwa Dishu Eva Darwa Darwa Dish Darwa Dishu Darwa Dishu Eva Eva Sarva de Ham Prati Sarva de Ham Prati Ravishtatwad Pravishtatvat Pratirupaha Babuva Pratirupaha Babuva Vahihicha Vahishcha Svena Svena Avikritena Avikritena Swarupena Swarupena You can add the prefix swa, it may be missing in your notebook. Swarupena Swarupena Akashavatu Akashavatu Yeah. So, Tatha. Tatha. So, also. Just as the example of Agni is there, given Tatha. Ekaha eva sarva bhutantara atma. That is the, that is the word in the, in the mulam, third quarter. Ekaha. Chakracharya adds eva. And sarva bhutantara atma, Chakracharya is explaining. Sarvesham Bhutanam Abhyantaraha Atma. That Atma which is there in every being. Sarvesham Bhutana. Being, living and non-living also. Okay. Bhutanam. Sarvesham Bhutana. Abhyantaraha. Abhyantaraha. Antaraha Abhyantaraha means it is there inside, but it is not obvious to any of us. That's why Abhyantaraha. As though very deep inside, somewhere deep, okay, abhyantara, huh? okay. So which, so that atma, which is the inner self of all beings, inner essence of all beings, okay, and uh, 
So, Pancha Koshas are there. So, we studied that in Tattva Bona. Annamaya Kosha. The physical body, physical aspect of it is the Annamaya Kosha. Then what? Pranamaya Kosha. Prana, the, all the uh, senses and the and the physiological systems, pancha prana, huh? then what? Mano maya. So kosha, what is this kosha? What is a kosha? Kosha, they translate it as sheet. It's like a cover. You 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 roll, roll it on one sheet. You roll it once again. Another another like an onion. Another level of covering. Like you go to the airport. You you. So some people, you know, their suitcases are not, we don't know, anytime it can open. And they don't want their suitcases to open somewhere in between. You know, all the goodies are all there. So what do they do? They, they have a nice machine and they put the suitcase in between and then turn the thing on. Just keeps rotating. Plastic. Kacha, kacha, kacha. So one, two, three, four, five. Pancha kosha. Okay, five layers are there. So, Annamaya Kosha, Pranamaya Kosha, Manomaya, Vijnanamaya, Anandamaya, like that, this Kosha. But really speaking, Atma is not covered by those layers. Kosha is an error. Achada Kattvat Kosha. Because I identify at the level of the body, I think I am the body, therefore, Annamaya Kosha. I make a mistake. Each kosha is a mistake. Keep that in mind. Never think of it as this onion peel or layer and all. That is, that is just a bad translation. It's not layer. No layer, nothing. It appears like layers. Like the body is covering the senses. The senses are covering the mind. The mind is covering the buddhi. It's tempting to believe that. There may be some basis to that. But that's not what is meant here. Error. The human being makes an error. Level error number one. I am the body. That is Annamaya Kosha. I am tall. I am brown. I am this. I am that. Etc. That is Annamaya Kosha. Then what? Then I am blind. I am short-sighted. I am this. That is all Pranamaya Kosha. Like that. You have different Koshas. So, Abhyantara means appears to be not a kosha at all. Inside all the koshas, it's hiding, you know. Like that also there is some thinking. So, so the five koshas are all atma. Atma is neither of them. Every kosha is atma, but atma is not any of the koshas. Correct? Satyam and Vithya. And so, Taitariya talks a lot about this in Brahmananda Valley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ati Sukhmatvat Dharva Dishu Iva Sarva Deham Prati Pravishtatvat. Again, Dharva Dishu Iva, just like the fuels example we talked about, wood, etc. Dharva Di, Dharva Dishu. Just like Agni has entered the various types of fuels, Dharva, Dishu, Iva. Similarly, Sarva Deham Prati Pravishtadvat. Sarva Deham Prati, all bodies. It has entered all bodies. What has entered? Atma. Atma has entered. Remember, the word Atma is there. Abhyantara, Atma, Ati Sukhshmatvat, Atma is there. That is the subject. Atma has entered, as it were, Iva. Okay, Iva. Iva is important. Iva means as though Atma has entered. Correct? I mean, Iva refers here to Dharva, Dishu, Iva. Like the Agni has entered all the different types of fuels. Like that, Atma has entered. But even that. Entering must be understood as Eva, as though. Because Atma cannot enter. Everything is Atma means Atma really cannot enter. But, in keeping with the example, as though Atma has entered. Because you only said fire, the fire is there. And so I am saying that no, the, the fire is there everywhere. But it is just manifesting in a particular way. 
in a particular object. Okay. So also, Pravishtatvat Pratirupo Babhuva. Okay. That is why it is appearing, Atma is appearing as many Atmas. Because many human beings are there. They are all independent, separate. Okay. It feels as though Atmas are many. Just like fires are many. Okay. Vahischa. Vahischa. Again, that is Molam. Vahischa. Means what? Svena avikritena. Svena avikritena. Uh, your book has uh, Rupena or Swarupena? Rupena. 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 Okay. Rupena. Rupena. Svena avikritena. Swarupena. Akasha. What? Bhavati. You can add the word Bhavati. Gita Prasa Swarupena. Okay. Yeah. And yet, and yet, by his it is outside also. Atma is outside. Outside means what? Outside these forms, all these forms that we talked about, all the deha, dehas. Outside the forms, also, outside the bodies also, Atma is very much pervasive. Very much there. Okay? That may be news to you, but I'm giving you that news. And uh, Akasha Bhatti. Akasha Bhatti. Means like space. Like space is a very good example for all pervasiveness to display that, for us to appreciate that. Space. And space also is anatma only though. It is not atma. Because tasmadva etasmad atmanaha akasha samhutaha. Akasha is a product. It's a part of this creation. Brilliant. Taitiri Upanishad talks about that. Like space and time also part of the creation. Here akasha. Time may not be a good example for all pervasiveness because time is not like space. Space is very perceivable as this, as the space that is that we are all in, you know. And so, Akasha but just like Akasha, this Atma is also outside, Vahischa. Vahischa. Outside also it is there. Not just inside the bodies. Okay. And in what form? Svena avikritena rupena. In all places, Atma is in its original form, unmodified form. It is always in that. Whatever Atma is, that is the same Atma. It may be in a small body, big body, feminine body, masculine body, everything. In all those bodies, thick body, healthy body, it is all in its own original form. It cannot be modified. Avikritena rupena. Uh, so avikrita, vikritam means modification. Vikritam, modified. Avikritam, unmodified. Because it's unmodifiable also. Okay. Avyayam, that's why. All right. He's giving reason. So Akasha, but it is there all pervasive. So, so just like fire has entered the different fuels, making us think as though there are fire is, is, is distinct and independent and separate and many plurality. It gives you an idea of plurality. Like that Atma has entered different bodies, giving us an idea of plurality. That idea is wrong. Because Atma is Ekaha. That is a message of this. I think this mantra can be used. I think uh, people who are teaching children should test this mantra on children and see if they will appreciate it. See, and if they, what kind of questions they ask, we have to see. All right. Anyway, so that's the message here. So, Atmanaha Upadi Pratirupa. The Atma is as though many, because of the many Upadis, because of the many forms that it has, is manifest in. And Atma is Sarva Bhutastaha. Sarva Bhutastamatmanam. Matstani Sarva Bhutani. So all that is being said here. All right, let's do the Anvayam, okay? 
यथा एकहा अग्नि ही भुवनम प्रविष्टा हा यथा एकह अग्नि ही भवनम प्रविष्टा हा ओके प्रविष्टा हा बोलते ब्रैकेट सन सन रूपम रूपम एंड देन विथ इन ब्रैकेट्स दारवादी दाह्य भेदम प्रति दारवादी दाह्य भेदम प्रति प्रति रूपो बबुव कामा तथा ये कहा सर्वभूतांतरात्मा तथा एक है सर्वभूतांतरात्मा रूपम रूपम प्रतिरूपो बभूव रूपम रूपम प्रतिरूपा बभूव इन ब्रैकेट्स फुल स्टॉप Then next sentence: Atma in brackets, bahihi cha bhavati in brackets. Atma bahis cha bhavati. Atma and bhavati in brackets. Supply. So, yatha yeka ha agni hi bhavanam pravista ha san. रूपम रूपम दारवादी दाह्य भेदम प्रति प्रति रूपा बभूव कामा तथा एक हां सर्व भूतांतरात्मा रूपम रूपम प्रति रूपो बभूव फुल स्टॉप आत्मा बहिष्च भवति आपदापहर्ता दातासंपदाभिराम श्रीराम भूय भूय नमा ओ आपदापहर्ता दातासंपदाभिराम श्रीराम भूय भूय नमा पदापहर्ता दातासंपदाभिराम श्रीराम भूय भूय नमा ओं पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्णमुद्य पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम